is so cute. Like, it's so cute. Like, hiya everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisanne, and you are on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing a reaction video. But before anything else, hi, I'm Chrisanne, and if you're new to my channel, Welcome! <laughs> I do a lot of these reaction videos, makeup tutorials, art videos, covers, and all that so you guys can subscribe down below or um, check out some of the videos up there. So today is <laughs> Yoja Chingu Mago. So um, if you haven't noticed by my outfit, I just recorded a makeup tutorial on Una's look from Yoja Chingu. Um, I might as well, you know, do her look because my hair is already blonde, very similar to hers. And I did a makeup look of hers before, so you can check it out there. Mago is their newest single, and it was actually quite surprising for me that they released one so soon after Apple. Yeah, a lot of a lot of buddies are super spoiled this year because they have been releasing and releasing a lot of stuff. I saw just the images so that I could do Una's makeup look. And yeah, that's about it. I don't really remember what it was like, so we're gonna check it out together. And so on. It's so retro. This is so much more mature. It's so old school. <gasps> this is so cool -less. it's so cute. Oh, she's finally using her pole dancing. It also sounds a little bit like a video game. I am wondering now how this ties in with the rest of the story because right, buddies, you've always told me and I also know that there is some sort of storyline that ties in everything. That's how Apple came to be in everything. So I'm just, I'm very curious. So, okay, so what did you guys think of Apple? Did you guys enjoy it? Um, 
the song is definitely what I expected because um, they would say on the broadcasts that uh, it's more retro sounding, kind of old school, but also that is the going trend in K-pop right now. And if you know K-pop, it's all about trends. They did go with the more popular sound a lot, actually quite a lot of um, new singles are very retro. And it's not a bad thing, it's actually quite a good thing because it's like they're experimenting with sounds. And what I like about this part is that uh, they, they played a lot with the vocals of uh, playing off between Una and Yuju because Yuju will usually hit the high notes but I noticed that here she would go very very low in comparison to Una's high tone because Una's voice is very high. I, I felt it was a little slow but then I kind of got it when it reached the chorus why it was paced that way and it's super addicting the part that Marco, Marco. it's like, like Marco, Marco. i haven't seen their live performance but it's much simpler than their usual choreography i couldn't see it in the music video because it was more images right but this one definitely stuck. <laughs> I also expected that their choreography would have something to do with hands because G Friend has a lot of that. And the production, oh my gosh, can I just say the production is so good. If you see a lot of super super old movies, like super old, like they, they went very very retro, almost like 80s, 60s disco. Right? I, but, but they went very disco. <laughs> they went very disco with this. It's obvious with like um the dance, the the dance in the end with the disco ball and their very flashy outfits and all that. Yerin's room that is so old school. It, it she reminded me of like those old Malibu Barbies. That's what she reminded me of, and it was so cute. Like I love the play on color and also the way they edited the video. That's also part of production that um they made it look very old school. And the ending part, they made it look like an old television. I don't know if you guys could get that, but that's why it was kind of blurry and also because there's a lot of sparkly things happening. And can I, can I please? I love the the matching outfits when they were in like the cute part. Um, it's so cute. It's so cute. I I would love to wear something like that one day. I don't know if I could pull it off, but it's super super adorable, and I love how each of the girls have their own personal style. Shinbi went with shorter hair, shorter, like a bobbed hair that Una wore. Una went back to her bobbed hair and I miss that hair on her because she looks so cute in that. But then, actually when I watched the music video, I thought Shinbi was Una. I got kind of lost because of the hairstyle is very signature Una, so I was kind of surprised there. Oh my god, guys, visuals. Una looks like a goddess. I mean, she looks amazing. And Yuju? Yuju, oh my gosh, she looks so badass, especially when she was doing the pole dance in her. Umji also, Umji, that glow up, that. Mm, she looks so like elegant and mature, and everyone, all of them look amazing. I super enjoyed it. I mean, the, the sound, I think I have to get used to that, a, a slower pace, because I'm so used to it being much higher like even apple was a little bit faster so i think i have to get used to that but apart from that i think this is a very unique and good comeback for g friend especially because this is their full length album right am i right so anyway guys please support g friend on their comeback so this is like super last minute i wasn't supposed to do a reaction but i did it anyway <laughs> please leave your comments down below who was your favorite member and did you guys enjoy the music video did you guys like the very disco vibe that they had also don't forget to like subscribe and click the kickball notification for updates and yeah guys, that is it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!